Also, my name is Nigeria Chambers of Big Gold Belt Media. It's a pleasure to talk to you too today. Hi, so, so I want to start off with you, Gary. Uh, from checking out these first three episodes, we kind of see this journey with Wilf, but we kind of go back because now we see Wolf to Wilf. And I would kind of love if you can kind of articulate um, where we see this adventure, uh, sort of this journey going with this character. Because when we're first introduced to uh, Wilf, it's calm, it's cool, collective. But the more and more we start to unravel, it seems like there's a lot of inner rooted internal struggles that are going on, but he's not showing face as of just yet. Um, so I'm on the edge of my seat wondering what is to come. Yeah. <laughs> um, well... If it does happen, I, I don't want to give that away. Um, but I, I will say, yeah, everything you said is true. Um, th th he, does, th he does go on a journey, though. I mean, he has to. It's like, there's so many crazy things happening in the story. Um, he, yeah, he, re he reacts to it. But Will's whole thing, and because of his background, um, I, I don't know if, if I'm going to give anything away. By say Basically, yeah, he's had a very difficult upbringing. Um, yeah. And he's a, he's a survivalist, actually, uh, much like Flynn. Chloe's character, yeah. and um, yeah, so his whole th Will's whole thing, is also because of his profession, is to just actually just uh, yeah present one way, but even though there could be a, a cr like hundred things going on in, underneath the surface, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much what we see from Will from the first part of the series. Um, I, I think he tries to keep it together as much as possible throughout, but there are certain events that take place where you can't help but see like he's a human being at the end of the day, and that humanity yeah. comes out a lot, which is why I love the character as well. He's in this really sterile super advanced interesting yeah. world but um but he he seems to have remained very um very round like rooted and very grounded and I, I really love that about the character yeah it's the second interview today that has brought up the word um human and, and because when you start to think about technology ai futuristic world building we seem to get away from what makes us who we are today but we see these characters still very much even 70 years in the future still having very humanistic qualities that we have which tells us we're never going to get away from that from the two of you uh my question for the two of you now is seeing this sort of larger than life granular world being built right now uh, what was sort of your excitement bringing these visuals, bringing this production, um, existing in this world that fans clearly have a deep passion for this genre? <laughs> I, I think I, well, you, I, I, I think you should go. No, 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 you, you no, should. no, I insist. Um, I can't really comment on this. I feel like, I think, I feel like these guys have done, we know like Jonah's work and, um, it's, it's, it's some of the best out there and the way these guys approach and like do this genre to me is is, is like the best yeah, uh, yo yo for real for, like i mean that is the case and so um like yeah the whole team like with the aesthetics of it and like bringing those ideas to life i, I feel like i'm just like a player in it i don't feel like i'm responsible at all um i think it's amazing what they've done from what i've seen i think they've done the best job um i'm very very grateful to be a part of this this series um but yeah i'll, I'll let you thank you Gary. <laughs> the secret is uh, work with incredibly talented people, sit back and enjoy their <laughs> enjoy the ride. No, I think we have we have such a such an amazing group on this show, from the cast to Scott Smith, our showrunner, Vincenzo Natali, our director, who brought the project to us in the first place, Ulrich Riley, you know, who directed uh, uh, half of half of the season. It's a really talented group, um, and and lending all of their brilliance on top of William Gibson's inimitable brilliance in imagining where the world is gonna take us, where all this crazy stuff is headed. But fundamentally, to your point, um, where does humanity sit in all of that? As all of this technological, as we create all of these many, many worlds and all the complications that attend to them, and we negotiate the relationships between those worlds, where do we sit? Right? Where, where do human beings, you know, what, what role in that, if any, will we have going forward? And I think that's, those are irresistible questions. Awesome. Awesome. Well, have checked out the first three episodes. Really, really can't wait to check out the rest of the season. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Cannot wait for the rest of the world to see it. And also have a good time at New York Comic Con if you're going to be attending that as well.